Hi everyone, um, I'm back and um, I'm going to do um, a little blending video. So I'm going to show you how to blend on um, an eye that's got quite a, quite a shaped socket like mine and then I'm also going to show you um, how to do um, a mono lid, a much flatter eye or, or an eye that's um, slightly hooded as well. So I'm going to end up with two different eyes but if you don't mind, I don't mind. This is an exercise you guys can do with me if you want to. All you need is um, a white eyeshadow. I'm using, um, this is Gesso from uh, MAC. Mine's been well used. And um, I'm using Carbon from MAC too. Brushes wise, you will also need, you'll need um, a 239 brush from MAC. You'll need a few 217s or something similar to that. Um, if you have the 224 MAC one, that will do perfectly. So any kind of blending brush that you have. Is that hair annoying you as much as it's annoying me? Sorry. Okay, let's pin the hair out of the way to start with so you can actually see what I'm doing. If you can blend with a black and a white, you can blend any two colours together, okay, because they're the, they're the most contrasting colours. So we're going to start off with gesso, which is the white. And we're going to put that all over the lid. Now my brush has got the most product on it when I put the brush to the eye, so we want the most product close to the lashes, okay, and then without putting any more product on I'll just blend that up, I'll feather it towards the brow in fact, but you probably won't see it at the brow. This may well look quite horrendous, but if you can do this then it will really set you up for all other colours that you plan to blend. So now with your 239 we're going for a bit of carbon. Now, before you put this product onto your eye, tap it off, okay? Touch it on your hand or tap the brush to get rid of any particles um, because those loose particles are the ones that are going to drop under your eye and make a real mess. So now what we're going to do on this eye, we're going to bring the colour across the lid there and then so we use the side of the brush to get that across the lid and then we're going to use the tip of the brush just to put a little socket shape in okay now what you don't want to do is bring this if you if you look at the underneath line if you look at the water line under your eye and f and if that water line were to follow up then you don't want to bring this black any lower than if that water line carried on up does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Um, any lower than that natural shape, and this is going to make your eye appear uh, to droop, okay? And you always want to lift the eye. And for those with um, a mono lid or a flatter eye or even a hooded eye, all we're going to do is use the flat of the brush to bring the colour across. Okay, with your 217 blending brush, we're going to start blending. Okay, now I'm using just the very tip of the brush to blend. Okay, and I'm really making it quite jerky motions, and then smoother motions, and then quite jerky motions, and then smoother motions. What you don't want to do is this because you don't have so much control over your product and the only way to get a really nice finish with an eyeshadow is to blend it, reapply and blend it because you'll find even you know if you bear in mind how long I've been doing makeup um, even when I do makeup can you see that slight creasiness that you get you'll get that but if you blend and reapply you'll lose it it's when you don't do that enough that you keep that creasiness okay so come back in with a bit more black, carbon, sorry, same place you put it before. And very, very gradually, 
we'll be able to build a shape. And now for the other eye. So we're going to build this colour from the lashes upwards. Obviously if there is no socket line, then it looks funny if you kind of draw one in. So we're going to create depth by using the lashes as our kind of monitor if you like. We're going to get as much depth, depth as close to the lashes as we can. If you saw the Dior trend um, video I did, you'll see that I did a similar shape with that. This is actually a 263. Using our 263 from Mac, I have um, I've just wet my um, my carbon eyeshadow and I'm going to use that kind of as a liquid liner if you like but obviously when it dries it will be more of a shadow texture And then just tidy up your shape with a little bit of concealer. Make sure you've got rid of any black that's dropped under the eye. And just take your foundation brush along your shape to make sure it's really neat. So I guess the best way for you to see is one eye at a time. So blending for a socket line and blending for um, a mono lid eye. So I hope that's been of some use. Try it with a black and white, it's really difficult and if you can do that then you can master maybe a light, light brown and a darker brown or um, two different shades of blue. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it's been useful. Okay, bye.